Alright, now you tune in to the wig and shade out with, Chris, with the next. Alright, so I just want to get into K. Michelle and Jonathan Fernandez. Jonathan Fernandez, her makeup artist, put that ass on blast. Now when I tell you, he tore her up. He tore her up in all the truth. And we've been telling you that K. Michelle was bipolar. And Lil' Kim told you that K. Michelle was bipolar. And nobody believed it. Now, if Jonathan fell out with her, I feel bad for her because that means everybody didn't fell out with her. He was her ride or die. And he's basically saying that other stuff be going on in other people's lives. and But he still check up on her because, you know, real friends, even though they're in the industry, he got stuff to do. He got family to take care of. And, you know, sometimes you can't, they can't always be there, but they can communicate through text. You know, this is not the 1700s. You know, people can com communicate, communicate through text, Facebook, whatever it is. And she basically just went on live and blasted him, deleted people, said he was a fake friend. He wasn't there when she got the, her booty um, injected, leaked. And when they was taking that stuff out on her, and she went to Dr. Oz, she went on the booty, uh, redu the booty reduction ca campaign, the booty reduction tour, you know, different shows, and basically was just saying he was fake and crying out. So then he went to live saying, if this is the only way we could communicate, then let's get into it. Saying that if your name, you know, K. Michelle and Annalisa is the only two friends that he fell out with, that, like, they just fell out, fell out. And then he went down the list saying that if your name ain't on this list, we ain't best friends. And K. Michelle ain't on that list. You know, and this ain't, uh, even though K. Michelle had blocked me, um, all her social media, except her, um, except her, um, Facebook or whatever. Um, I, I don't hate K. Michelle. The first time I heard of K. Michelle was on a Breakfast Club. I don't really watch Love and Hip Hop and all that. But, you know, sometimes she could be up and down. You know, she bipolar one minute. She sounded sad. The next minute, you know, she going off on people. Uh, I think her and Nicki Minaj and Kaya, they need to get some intervention this year. They all taking L's. Um, I feel that, you know, it's not a K. Michelle hate train. I don't hate her. I can't say I hate somebody. You know, I just don't like her. some of her ways. Like I said, if she fell out with Jonathan... That should tell you a lot. She fell out with everybody. That was her ride or die. And I feel that um, Kate Michelle can be wishy-washy at times. And um, like I said, this ain't a Kate Michelle hate train. I think that she's cool. She, I feel like she, um, when she got her Jack Daniels endorsement, you know, all this other stuff. Like I said, she wanted to do country music, you know. I'm rooting for that. But it's just her attitude is going to just, of her just being up and down that's just gonna, what's going to get to her and it's her downfall and you know she hasn't been popping in a hot minute because she ain't really been putting music out she again the twitter fingers like um what's that girl uh, uh, Azalea Banks twitter failure finger they both got talent get offline stop beefing people do your craft so that's just my two cents on that like I said she need to get some help alright this has been your boy Crystal Next with the wig and shade hour. Peace.